What's up? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We actually took this thing on a test drive yesterday for a kind of a long distance. And yeah, got some problems. Nothing major. This caliper locked up, the one that I'm sitting on right now. Passenger front, it was stinking, but we got it back here. I failed emissions on this because I haven't drove it enough miles. So when the memory's cleared, their little computer can tell how recent it's been cleared. So it prevents people from unhooking their battery, turning their check engine light off, and then running up to the emissions place and getting them to pass. So this thing needs some more miles on it before I'm able to get emissions done on it so I can get my tag. Let's go. Okay, it actually doesn't look too terribly chewed. Um, ah, it's crazy why this thing's stuck. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and take it off. If they have a rotor in stock, I'll grab it. But if they don't, then they don't. So we'll go from there. Time to go call O'Reilly. So, brand new caliper and rope. Check them out. Went to O'Reilly, they had everything in stock, which was nice. So these old pads still have a ton of life in them. I mean, they don't have, I don't know how it's 40,000 miles on it. And I don't want them to wear unevenly because right now I don't want to do both of these at this time. Just, I'll just do this one. So I'm gonna hit this with a little sandpaper first to make sure it's just nice and smooth against this new surface. Brand new banjo bolt, washer. All right, let's pop the hood, fill up the brake reservoir, and bleed the brakes.
freaking easy job. I hate that that happened. I dumped an extra 150 bucks in it that I didn't really want to. It is what it is. The same needs to get some miles on it. So we're gonna load this thing, back it out of here, and just drive it up down the street. So it needs at least, they say 30 to 70 miles on the computer before it'll pass this stupid emissions crap for the state. Like it's ridiculous. But anyways, it's gotta happen. We'll see. alignment shop guys I'm excited this thing has a it's got a little bit of a death wobble at about 50 it's it's not that bad but I do think it's that tire remember the tire it's all chewed up it's a bad one I might just have them throw that on the back for right now and then um, I'll line this up and just make sure there's no tie rod ends bent or anything like that I hope not but you never know could be so let's get there and Check it out. We are here, Noonan Station. Hey, where's your favorite place to get ice cream after kicking butt on in track? <laughs> oh, racetrack. Cookie dough on top. And on the bottom. And on the bottom. Nothing else? No Reese's cups, Reese's pieces. Boom. So guess what? It's legal. <laughs> it is official. Bam. Let's put it on there. Bingo. Looks good. What do you think? It looks so good. It's like having <laughs> street legal metal. And now it's official. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Crab Island. So at the beach. Ooh. That's where we're staying. The Emerald Grand. Hey guys, you're on a boat. So we are going from, boom, our hotel over to the private beach over there. What do you say? Each motors are 200. What is it? Each motors are 200. So it's faster than Jimmy's boat? Yeah. Two 200s. Yeah, we're going to. This is nuts. Dude, Crab Island's just on the other side of the bridge. It's insane. By the way, I've seen five people go to jail since they've been out here. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, and we're back from Destin. We had a good time at the beach. Uh, kind of nice to get out of Georgia for a while. But back on this Jeep. So you saw previously, I took it to Goodyear. They did an alignment on it, which I don't know how great of a job they did. I've taken several things there in the past and they really haven't done a good job. So anyways, they said they did not feel a death wobble. There is a death wobble. Uh, it starts about 45. I could feel it barely leaving the parking lot. I could feel it. So it seems like the only thing they did was straighten the steering wheel, which is okay with me. Once I got home, I noticed that both tires jet outward. So, we're gonna to try to fix the toe on this thing and I think that's what's causing it. It's not a horrible, horrible death wobble like you would think, but it's definitely noticeable and it's definitely there. I'm gonna measure the backside and the front side of the, the length of the tires here. You'll see in just a second. And then we'll make our adjustments from there and go from there and hopefully it fixes that death wobble.
So I got my paper and a pen. So we're gonna measure the front and then the back at the nine o'clock and the three o'clock position and get those readings. Put it on the inside of the wheel where I was showing you. No, you actually gotta touch the rim, not the tire. There you go. This is gonna be really hard to see actually. You got it on there, Anna? Yes. All right, we're at 56 and five. Well, you got it on there? Yes. 56 and five eighths. All right. Not see the back. 56 and five eighths. 56 and 5 eighths. All right, back. What do you got there? Um, now, yeah. pull it right there. Right, All right, 3 eighths. 56 and 3 eighths. Okay. All right, the back is 56 and 3 eighths. So it's got a half an inch difference between the back and the front. Let's fix that. All right, guys. So right here is your tie rod in on a solid axle. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and loosen these up and see if we can adjust this thing in some. All right. So guys, I'm gonna rotate this counterclockwise actually, because I think, don't hold me to it, but I think that is the way to do this. Let's find out. Why they don't use a regular socket here, I don't know. Using a monkey wrench on this thing. All right, guys, so I'm gonna push this back over a little bit and take some, some of the slack. And it's not hard to do. Gosh. All right, I think I got it right there. You're basically just compressing the shock a little bit. All right, let's take our measurement.
Okay, new plan. I got to get a better measurement. And I cannot believe I cannot find my other long level. But anyways, that's a little boat out, but it'll be, it'll be fine on the light. But let's go ahead and give this thing a measurement. That's crazy. So the toe, it's looking like it's like four inches off. I might need to get something that doesn't bow. Let me retry this. Okay, new setup. I got my favorite tool, steel pipe. And this is what I'm gonna do. It is three inches off from the left from the up. Uh-oh, might be low. Maybe not, I don't know. So, it is about three inches off, towed in now. So it's 82 and an eighth in the front. Now it's 83 or 85 and an eighth in the back. So I guess I turned it way too much. But by the eye, it doesn't look off. So I'm, I'm confused. But I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit and see what it does. That's going to be a wrap for the video on the toe. Guys, it's really easy. You can do this at home on your own JK in 20 minutes. It's really not bad at all. I'm glad I went to the beach and had fun. I'm glad I could get a little bit of content out with you guys. But uh, yeah, we've been busy lately for sure. And something's awesome is coming to this channel soon. You guys will be in store for a good time. Um, next on this, we're going to be doing those fenders. The fender flares, the hood, the grill, we gotta paint all of that. So that's coming up here real shortly. Till next time, guys. And hit that like button, subscribe button. See ya.